hi everybody welcome to two for tuesday which i'm actually doing three for tuesday bonus awesome just sharing my live sharing my live <clears throat> you guys can feel free to um click that share button down at the beginning if you are on youtube you can also share you can also make sure you subscribe make sure you subscribe so you get um so you know when i do a new video or uh, do a live <clears throat> okay okay well there we go let's see who's here melissa hello hola chica and claire hello margaret don marie shalice Diane, Helen, Gloria, and Levada. Woohoo! We are starting out awesome. I don't know why my restream is not catching up. Hi, Vicki. Hi, Elizabeth. <clears throat> hello, hello. So, today we are going to do this trio of small A size transfers. These are vegetables. And um, Annabelle, yes, yes. These are cute little vegetable transfers. Um, if we call tomato a vegetable, I understand it's a fruit, but, um, and such yummy vegetables, asparagus, artichoke, and tomatoes. I feel like we could put those together and make something pretty yummy. I've been actually craving artichokes lately. So funny that I'm gonna do this. So, uh, let me show you the, the surface that I'm gonna use. Well, first let me show you the transfers. So this is our asparagus, tomato, artichoke. There we go. Now, before you um, say anything, if you are like out there Looking at home decor, you know that um, all of the like foliage, greenery, vegetable, like all of the plant families are super trendy to put in your home. So I'm going to do this box frame. You could do it like this. We'll see if you could do it like that. That might be really cool too. I'm gonna go ahead and try it. Hi from Pennsylvania, Linda. Hello, hello, thank you so much. Hi Joyce and Jane and Kathy. Hello, Pat and Jan, howdy, howdy. Annabelle, did I say hi to you already? I don't know. Carla and Carol Hefner, hello. Amy Elizabeth, howdy sister. So, hi Chris, hello, hello. So let's go ahead and look at this and we'll see, oh, look how crooked I am. Okay, so I know it will fit sideways, but if we squished, would they fit up and down? I just am curious. I think they would probably fit just there. Like I think you could do it up and down or side to side. I am choosing to do mine side to side and I hope I don't regret that because I think up and down looks cool. Okay. Did you get your big order today? I did, but the kicker is that I have yet to be home to do a live. This is the first time I've been home to be able to do a live. Um, so I'm struggling with that. And since tomorrow is daytime live, I might have to do it tomorrow. I might have to do it tomorrow um, because it will take a long time. But if we can whip through this, maybe I'll have energy to keep going. Ha, cool. Hi, Debbie Green. Kentucky's in the house. Hi, Don Atkins. 
and Diana Carey. Hello, hello. Okay, up and down. Up and down, you want me to try it up and down? Um, I kind of feel like I should try it up and down. I just have to know, like it will be cutting it close for sure. But I'm pretty good. I'm gonna, I'm, I, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna flip this thing on its lid. I have an idea that will work. Uh, exactly, you can do it any way you want. So I am really gonna do this really cool. So these are five by seven transfers. This is a six by 18 board. So it's slightly smaller than what a, the five by seven is. So there's less room than you actually want to have. So I'm gonna do a little trick and I'm gonna feel how sticky these are so that I know if I can like make my decision. Two upper and one down. I'm thinking, no, I, bear with me. I'm also going to change the color. I was going to use um, black and I think I will, Guys, I need to mix a color. Y'all may remember, I want a cocoa color. And I don't have cocoa, so, I mean, we don't have a color called cocoa that is cocoa colored. So I have to make my own. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get one of my little trays. Hold on, I gotta grab it. Get one of my little mixing trays. I have to dry off my hand. I just had to pull things out of the water bath. Don't need my scissors, so those can go away. We are gonna mix. We're gonna mix some bark and some black in the little mixing tray. You can grab these mixing trays from my online shop. Um, they are, you can get a set of 24 for $4.99. I'm gonna do a big hunk of chocolate looking color called bark. And then I'm gonna do some black with another squeegee, a smaller hunk, not as big as the chocolate, right? Okay, I need to set these over here. Okay, and then I'm just gonna mix it up. I'm making kind of a big um, um, a big batch because I need to do three transfers with it. Yay, hi Leilani, hi Debbie. So I am making a cocoa color. It's going to better match the wood frame of this. I probably would do a little, a slightly less black. Um, just if you guys make this at home. But um, I think it, it looks pretty good. Gosh, I do want to add a tiny bit more cocoa. I mean chocolate, I mean bark. I know the color, I just, the color. I know, I know. I just wanna take a little bit more of this and put it in there. There we go. And mix that in. Hi, Carol. Hello, Anne. How's everybody doing this fine Tuesday evening? I got a couple chunks. We want to get that taken care of. All right, now, since it's just... 
That's why we got this big chunk of chunk of chunk of burning love. All right in there. I'm going to do a really quick spray with water and we're going to do it a little more. I really want it to um, last because remember I have to do three transfers and I don't want it to dry out. Okay now you can see the difference. Yes, black, cocoa, and bark. This is what I'm calling cocoa. Um, it is brownish, so if I hold it up, you can kind of see. And it does kind of match that a little better. Um, I got some on my thumb. No worries, I can wash it in my water. Woo, my water is cold today. So cold. How cold is it? It's so cold. I don't, I don't have a finish. I don't know how to. Nope, Linda, not doing different colors. Because I'm not doing, you'll, you'll see it when it's done. I am not doing different colors. All right, so we're gonna put artichoke at the top. And the reason why we're putting artichoke at the top because the word is at the bottom. And I'm going to um, slightly cut off a little bit of it. Also, I need to fuzz this, and also on top of that, I am needing to label these because I imagine people will, um, artichoke, okie dokie artichokey. To ma to and asparagus. Uh, how do you even spell it? Asparagus. It's all A's. Asparagus. Okay. Done. Snowing in New Mexico. Are you kidding me? No way. That's crazy. Does it, I mean, does it snow there every year or not so much? So I'm gonna put this in such a way that it goes off the board. Asparagus, the word is on the side with room down here so I'm gonna put this on here in a way that it too goes off the board if I can centering it as best I can okay and then tomato is gonna go in the center. I think my artichoke is a little crooked. I can wait, I can do that last. I'm just gonna peel this up and try to make it straighter. There we go. Okay, now, so we're gonna go ahead and do these first. And I'll use. Hi, Carly. Happy Tuesday. New Mexico. Well, I know that, like, even Arizona was cold to me. Three inches already every five years. Three inches? Priscilla, you have more snow than we do in Michigan where we usually get 100 inches a season. We have had like less than 20 inches since November. We never get a snow day in Memphis, Tennessee. Oh, come on. 
I know snow days from work would be great. Um, when I was in New Orleans, they nearly shut down the city because it was cold. It was 20 degrees. And here I am, girl from Michigan, totally like not even wearing a coat. And um, everybody was freaking out. It was funny. I just need okay there we go ta-da I love it I like it I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. All right. Now it's time to do asparagus. And I feel like it's crooked. So now I need to fix my crooked asparagus. Darn it. Nope. Aaron is listening to music back there. Like super old country. Which I don't listen to. It's interesting. Um, oh, Carly. Amy Elizabeth. Listen. Wish you got snow days from work. I know. Sometimes you can get snow days from work. You just never know. Like if we had like polar vortex and we had three feet of snow like we did the year Easton was born, you might be closed. Especially if there's a road snow emergency and no one's allowed to be on the roads. We got a dusting Thursday. Streets were clear. <laughs> no snow in Virginia. Just rain. Central PA, oh yeah, Northern India, I know three to six, so Carla, listen, here's the deal. So there's this storm coming, and it's supposed to reach up to Michigan and into Michigan, and it said we're supposed to get two to five inches. The weatherman said he thinks it's more like two to four inches, but it's coming Wednesday night. Thursday morning will be slippery, and then Thursday night we're getting a little more. So I fly out, I kid you not, at 5.18 a.m. on Thursday morning. I'm headed for a girls weekend. If my flight is canceled or delayed, I will cry. Real tears. So we need to make sure that Portage, Michigan, where the Kalamazoo Airport is, or Kalamazoo, Michigan, whatever, that it's not so bad that we can't take off. That's all I ask. I will de I we can de-ice the plane. We can do all that. I may have just, I don't know. I don't know if I got that or if I let it dry. Ooh, yeah. Asparagus. I'm liking it, you guys. Wait till we get the next one in. Next one is going to be super amazing. Tomatoes. So let's dry this so that we don't have any issue. We need to move to Alberta. Amy, snow is not our friend. And when you move to Alberta, you will never have a snow day because they're so used to like living in three feet of snow that it's like no big thing. Yep. 
Yes, exactly. What, what Leilani just said. Hi, George. The best year ever. It was the best year ever because I had a week off of school. That was awesome. So I'm heading to, well, okay, so I have a really awful flight. Not only do I have to be at the airport at like 4.15, um, I am going to, uh, I have two layovers. Not really layovers, just connecting, like I, well, they are layovers, but not very long. So from my little airport, I will head over to Detroit, which takes all of about an hour. Um, it's really like, I don't know, maybe a 20, 30 minute flight, but takes about an hour. Get there and then I will connect again in Atlanta. But the thing about Atlanta is that I also connect with my friend who's flying from Massachusetts. So, um... Atlanta should be okay. And then we are together flying into, where are we going? Austin, Texas. Yes, we are gonna have fun, fun time with ourselves. There are four of us going total. It should be a brilliant time. We rented a house, or an apartment, a condo. Rented a condo right downtown on Rainy Street, and it'll be awesome. It'll be awesome. Wicked awesome, I tell ya. Hi, Kim. Why can't I see all the chats? Oh, Claire, you know why? Because, here's the thing, I'm streaming live to both Facebook and YouTube at the same time. And I have to admit that more... So like, um, we get chats from both YouTube and Facebook. <gasps> this is so cool. I'm gonna show you, but first we have a little conversation that we have to have. So far, two veggies I do not eat. Oh, Don Marie. <gasps> All of these veggies are delicious. They're just so yummy. So you have to have asparagus with like, a balsamic glaze drizzled over it so yummy like roast it and then artichokes gosh I could eat them anyway but um in anything um tomatoes they're good I mean what not to love especially from the garden I don't garden because I don't like nature and dirt and bugs but my mom does, and so her tomatoes are the best. So I'm not sure. Now, if you ever wanted to talk about things we don't like, it would be mushrooms. <sighs> Sorry. This is Carly, the six by 18, or six and a half by 18 and a half, I don't know what the measurements are, box frame. Really inexpensive. Easy to use. Now this is marketed as a one-time use only. So if you wanted to reuse it, you may have to wash it off and do a little sanding or, or paint it or something. But um, it's marketed as a one-time use because it is a wooden board. <sighs> Glitter from heaven. Oh, Amy. Kim, I talked to you. I said hello. You better eat lots of barbecue in Austin. Really? Is barbecue a thing in Austin? Okay, so hmm, you gotta tell me what I need to do because I've never been there. Um, the snow doesn't bother me. It's the freaking negative temps. I can't handle the cold or the bad driving conditions. I would like to live in a place where I don't ever have to deal with that. I feel like the color is perfect. I didn't wanna do multiple colors. Texas, North Carolina gal, eat the barbecue. I will. I will. I will. 
I do like my meat. Um, Claire, it's my own personal opinion, so I'll be honest. Not a colorful person. I mean, I'm colorful to an extent. I am not, like I wouldn't decorate in all the colors of the rainbow, of the world. Like I, I have kind of explained this before. I'm a little like matchy matchy with my stuff. And I though that if I want to put this in my kitchen, it has to have brown or teal or white. So I wasn't going to do it in teal. Let's just be honest. And um, this to me is more aesthetically pleasing than like the green artichoke and the red tomatoes and then the green, like all of that color is too much. Now go next door to the next designer and they're going to put color all over this thing, but it's not something that I would hang in my room. My, my room. So I like to do things that please me um, or my kids or so, you know, if I'm making something for someone and I know they're going to like those colors, I would do it. Um, thank you. You're allergic to tomatoes. Well, by golly, stay away from the tomatoes. They're not good for you. I should just say I'm allergic to mushrooms. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't, I'm allergic to mushrooms, sorry. I can't eat mushrooms, sorry I'm allergic, but I'm not allergic, I just don't like them. But I wish, yeah, gag, thank you Debbie, high five. Miracle Whip, Amy, I love Miracle Whip. <clears throat> not a fan of mayonnaise, but I like Miracle Whip. It's the tangy zip. Ugh, mushrooms. Um, thank you, Tanya. They're a fungus. Why would we eat a fungus? It's like, why would anyone eat blue cheese? It's mold. And it tastes like it. I cannot, I'll be honest, Amy, and this stems back from the Schwann's ice cream in mom's freezer one time when I was visiting and I took a bite and I was like, this tastes disgusting. And it had mold, the ice cream had mold in it. Not from mom's fruit. Like it was a weird, weird thing because it was brand new container. And I tasted it and I ate it. And then I was like sick. Like I just, you know, because I ate it. Not the whole thing, but like a bite. And I was like, something is wrong. And to this day, I cannot look at blue cheese, eat blue cheese, smell blue cheese, watch other people eat blue cheese because it's mold. I'm so sorry. I do wear a coat. I have a nice coat that I wear. I just don't like it. Salt lick. You must go. What is salt lick? Are you saying salt lick or are you saying something different? Is it, is it, is it a typo? Were you meaning to say salt lake or is salt lick a place? Do I need to write this down? Because I'm ready to write it down. I, I've got my pencil. And I have paper somewhere. Not in this drawer, apparently. Aha, I have paper. Is this a place, Carly? I'm writing it down. If it's not, laughs on me. I could add the farm in the background. Yes, yes, yes. Memphis, barbecue, and no snow. Memphis is probably an option. Well, I did think, I thought like Arizona would be an option, but it's not, it's cold. It's, it's like a dry cold where it says it's 60 out and it feels like it's 30. The feel like temperature is really deceiving. Oh, thank you, I can't stand blue cheese tomato. You're so gross, Miracle Whip. Uh, you're so gross. I don't know, what do you eat that I don't like, Amy? Something. Ugh, mushrooms. I don't like the texture, I don't like the taste. I have tried them, I have tried them a million times. People are like, oh, just try this, you're gonna love it. No, I don't, I really don't, I just don't. 
Salt Lick is the name of a restaurant in Austin that you eat barbecue. It's the best. All right, I'm writing it down. I'm telling my friends we're going to go there. We'll find it. We've got Uber. Grew up eating Miracle Whip. My life was changed when I was babysitting and had a sandwich with real milk. Oh. There is no taste to real mayonnaise. It's just... liquid I mean like <sighs> at least Miracle Whip has flavor so if you're going to put it on a sandwich or make something with it at least it has flavor this is like my concept of Miracle Whip and mayonnaise because the concept is really pretty disgusting and nasty and the um the consistency is gross to me and this might stem from the time when I was little and thought that butter would be a good thing to eat um, because it looked, I don't know. I took like a spoonful of butter and almost like threw up. It was awful. I'm not gonna lie. That's a stupid thing for a kid, but I think I was like three or four. Oh, you people, you have no idea. Oh. Canned mushrooms are the worst. Oh my gosh. Like, I may understand people liking a fresh pulp mushroom. I don't even know. Or, or you know, but not canned. They're slimy fungus. I don't understand. I wish I could save this. But I don't think I can. Miracle Whip is, for me... For me, like the tang. It's the tangy whip. It's the tangy zip of Miracle Whip. That's why I like it. Because it adds flavor. You take like a ham sandwich and you put mayonnaise on it. And what does it add? Kind of a gross looking... I don't know. It's just gross. It's just gross. Yeah, I'm gagging. Sorry. I don't mean to gag you. Please do not be like Jessica and like... <laughs> if you have not watched that or listened to that episode of the podcast, you have got to listen to our uh, top 10 list of foods that we love to hate. It is... Probably one of the funniest. I wanted to keep going, but Jessica was seriously going to be sick. She couldn't handle it. What is blue plate mayo? Like, I have no idea. There's a place called Guapo's, and they're known for their fried avocado. <gasps> Love avocado. Let me write this down. Guapo's. What is blue paper? Mayo is main lining fat. Listen, so I think looking at mayonnaise, it just looks like fat. Like it's just this gross consistency. It jiggles when you shake it and you put it on a sandwich and there's no flavor. Now, if it's in something and it's mixed in, it's fine, but not... I'm not going to add it to anything for flavor because it makes no flavor. But now, the tangy zip of Miracle Whip makes flavor. Well, flavor. Thanks, Susanna, for the little message. Are you still doing the podcast? Well, I'm. Not, we are okay. We are on hiatus from the podcast because someone, not me had to have her whole entire home renovated. And it got so stressful and so bad that she had to take time off, not me. I work through the pain. No, I'm just kidding. She really did. So we're at the point now where she's like, we need to start it up again. And I'm like, I got so used to the extra hour or two every week. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll start it up again. Um, we need ideas for... Um, we need topics, actually. Um, yeah, so we'll do that. I got, blue plate has a tang to the sandwich. Oh, so it's like Miracle Whip. 
Just have to say it. It's probably what I said. Wait, now my husband said he doesn't know if it's called guapos. You need to search fried avocado Austin. I will write that down. I love avocados. Jessica. Jessica. I know, Jessica. I know. Um, let me tell you this, though. I got to do this before I hold this up and show you the whole thing all at once where you can see it nice and pretty. Oh, and then I have to ask you a question. First things first. Um, this month is our most amazing month to join our, I'm seriously going to mute this. So goodbye, everybody. Um, <laughs> this is our most amazing month to join our club couture because we are having a sale. We do probably four to six different promotions for our preferred customers every year. And how do you become a preferred customer? You ask great question. Becoming a preferred customer is when you sign up for Club Couture. Club Couture is this great little subscription program where you uh, sign up and for $19.99 each month, we will mail you an awesome project kit just like this. It comes all packaged like this. There are three different um, chalk paste colors. Someone wrote all over this. Three different chalk paste colors and an amazing transfer Let's open it live on the air. Ooh, isn't that fun? So this month, we have our three colors of chalk paste and our beautiful transfer. Allow me to open it for you. This is one of our most desired chalk Couture Club Couture Transfers ever. Oh, I need to just show it to you this way. It says, welcome to our home, has this gorgeous little wreath there. And I'm sorry, I was holding it up to the um, thing. You get three colors. One of my faves, Marvelous, Eucalyptus, and Raspberry Sorbet. Oh, yes. So you get those three colors this month, plus the beautiful transfer right here for just $19.99. So when you sign up, you become a preferred customer, and then you are going to get 20% off all of your chalk paste. You can stock up while it's on sale. Okay, so that's a really great deal. Type club in the comments if you need more information or would like to sign up for Club Couture and become a preferred customer. Um... If you are new and are not inside my VIP group, I'd love for you to type add me so that I can give you the links you can join into my group and you'll learn all this stuff inside there because that's where I post everything to my amazing VIPs. And finally, if you're interested or curious about what it takes to be a designer, type team in the comments and I will send you another link that will get you in to watch a video to tell you all the ins and outs and ups and downs about becoming a designer. So easy. Team, add me, or club, whatever you wish. All right, Amy, good night, love you. Um, sleep tight. I was so excited when I saw they sold it in Florida. Not at all like Miracle Whip. Okay, blue plate is regional. Interesting. Um, last thing, uh, I think that's it. Oh, I gotta show you this. Let's do it, let's do it. I have to step back, but not fall on my chair so that I can hold it up so you can see. Why is it, can you see it? Or is it too, is the lighting not good? I'm trying to make it show up better for you. We'll do this. Ooh, ah. So very nice. I like it a lot. And it's it's gonna go up. So I have these shelves above my cabinetry. 
where I have lots of stuff staged, that is where it's gonna go. So it's gonna kinda, kinda go up there, in, kind of in the background. All right, well, this has been a super fun evening of artichokes and tomatoes and asparagus and talking about food, but I tell you what, it's time for me to go. If you don't have any, if you if you're watching the replay and you have questions, you can always type them in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Otherwise, you guys have an amazing rest of your Tuesday night because I'm heading out. Oh, Gruber out. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern time. Bye.